this is Neo, and I'm going to teach you about next generation sequencing alignment. Normally, nucleotides are called A, T, G, and C, but that's boring, so instead we're going to use Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt, Snoop Dogg, and Cash. Let's enter the matrix. We have the reference sequence on the bottom, and the patient sequence on top. The matrix finds the best match and aligns the sequence there. But there are thousands, no millions of patient sequences, so many are going to align to the same spot. And that's called depth of coverage. This Snoop Dogg allele, for instance, has a coverage of three times, but really it would be more like 50, or maybe a thousand. Whoa. Now, we have a polymorphism of Cash to Brad Pitt. The Matrix should still be able to align it, though it will realize a base is wrong, so it's important that it isn't looking for a perfect match. This time, we have a Cash Angelina deletion. This isn't going to align at all, but in split read alignment, alignment isn't done all at once, it's done in pieces. So as long as enough pieces match, and the matrix is smart, you can find the deletion. Now, say we have an insertion of two Angelinas. Again, since the alignment is done in pieces, the matrix can align the ends and still realize there's an insertion. And then, enslave humanity, probably.